Hey guys, today I'm going to take you on the on this steep slope that I got here. It's kind of sketchy with the Toro Time Master. As you can see, I just got done weed whacking. So I'm going to take you on this slope here with the Toro Time Master uh, at one of my yards. And it's kind of sketchy. And you can see that it's wet hot. See down here, look. Super wet. So here's the slope. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is, but it's a little sketchy. And I made a stupid mistake the last time I cut this. I'm gonna set you up, I'm gonna get started mowing this and then we'll talk about the stupid mistake I made. Rookie mistake, because I am a rookie. Here we go.
All right, guys, just got done finished mowing here. As you can see, that slope was a little sketchy. Um, there's another one in the back I'm going to show you. I didn't film any of that part. I just filmed this uh, slope here. But this slope back here is just as steep. So, as you can see here, and you can see the kind of path I took. Kind of went up there, down here. Made it a little bit easier. So, and then you watched me mow this part. Right here. So some of these clumps I'll blow, blow off. I didn't do that yet. But the mistake that I made um, has to do with my car. As you can see, the last time I cut this property, my window was down and I completely forgot about my chute and just blew grass all inside my car. So be very careful of your surroundings so something like that doesn't happen to you like it happened to me. Um, if that was a customer's car, I'd be out there vacuuming it out. So be very careful. And another thing I did before I ever mow a slope is go on it with a string trimmer because if I fall, I'd much rather fall with a, a string trimmer in my hand, not a mower. So, but the Toro Time Master, I don't know of any other 30 inch mower that can do this slope like this. You can use a 21 inch, but that's where the Toro Time Master uh, comes in handy because I don't know if the HDX or the Skag or the Xmark can do that because of the weight. It might be very hard. You see me struggling with this mower down by the steps to get it up the hill, but I got it up there. And this is probably a hundred pounds lighter than all three of those mowers. So not sure, but uh, this does the job for any job. I uh, hope this one helped. Again, check your surroundings. Um, understand what you're doing. With the string trimmer, you see I still threw some grass on my car with the string trimmer. If there was a customer's car there, um, I would probably ask them to move it. Or, I don't know if I would string trim in that area, to be honest. But, hope this one helped. I'll catch you guys on the next one.